night. Tell us about the night where you got saved by some monks. Yeah, it was um, in the in the Dolpha region, which is a really remote region, which is going to always be the the hardest part. And just um, because I had a really late winter um, in in Nepal, most of the trail was covered by ice and snow, so the moving was just really really slow. And I think a lot of the maps haven't been updated that well. So a lot of towns that we thought were actually going to be towns, there was just nothing there, just a couple of ruins. So. We actually really battled to, because a lot of the food we got along the way was just at tea houses and also accommodation, but we didn't find much there. So we actually got to about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night and the temperatures started to drop. It was getting dark and we kind of saw this building up in the distance with some smoke coming out the, out the top and that was our only, only option to go and knock on the door and, and see if they would let us stay there. And um, it turned out to be a, a monastery and um, they were really cool. Like um, It was actually this family that took us in and let us like downstairs I was getting a bit like nervous like it's really <laughs> old building and then kind of we walked into this room and there was this massive fire and smoke and could hardly breathe but this uh, guy had very our monk had very kindly let us come and um, spend the night with him and his family and we sat around the fire they made us food and yeah let us stay the night and I think that was kind of like the most um, like crazy thing in, in the project just how like open the, the Nepalese people were to letting us stay there and giving us food and it was never like cool you can come stay with us but like we want this it was just like no expectations they didn't speak any um English and it was just kind of let us in and um and just yeah kind of open their, their arms to us so that was really cool and yeah and that that case was kind of pretty much uh, life-saving because the next day um it took us about like 16 hours to get to the next next village so um and it was, yeah, Reno got, got frostbite two days later, so it was, it was pretty cold at, at night. So I think we didn't find that monastery, um, yeah, I might not be sitting here today.